Hi, I'm Steve Green. I've been a controller for 19 years with Nats. As part of my role as an air traffic controller, I help look after the training for unusual circumstances and emergencies. The training is an annual uh, event for air traffic controllers and split into two halves. The first half is a classroom-based uh, discussion. Uh, the second half takes place here in our simulator. And if you'd like to follow me, I'll give you a little tour. Right, we're in the simulator now. The first part of the simulator is to simulate the terminal control and London approach units. Uh, terminal control is the bubble of airspace that sits above London, Heathrow in the middle, London City, Stansted, Luton and Gatwick and RF Northolt. Uh, there's no one active today, but we can fully man this to be as realistic as the real shop floor. Now, if you follow me down here, I'll show you a map so I can sort of identify where the airfields are in relation to the UK. So here we go, it looks like a mass of green lines, which it is. Over here is the eastern edge of the UK, and this line is the River Thames going in. At the end of it, you can see Heathrow Airport. You then go up to RAF Northolt, Luton Airport, over there to Stansted Airport, down to London City, and then down to Gatwick Airport. So that's a brief overview of the terminal control simulator and the airfields in the south of England. Now let's go over to the other part of the simulator and the simulator pilots. So I'm now here with the simulator pilots. Uh, I have to talk a little bit quietly because they're in the middle of a live exercise. Uh, each of the pilots here can be responsible to, for four, five, six, seven aircraft at one time. Um, they control the aircraft by these big touch screens in front. They can make the aircraft climb, descend, turn, left, right, or increase or reduce their speed. Um, they also have a planning tube above, which means they can look at where the aircraft is and give a very realistic first call to the uh, controllers who are situated over there. Uh, so as to add to the realism. Uh, let's go and chat to a pilot now. So we've seen some of the uh, simulator pilots. John Ward here is uh, often an emergency simulator pilot. John, how do you add realism to the simulations that go on in here? Well, I can use three things uh, to make it more realistic. I can use sound effects, I uh, also use accents, and I can also use a pretend oxygen mask. The sound effects are from the panel we see here, and these replicate sounds, alarms, and warning sounds uh, in, from a real cockpit, so they're very realistic okay. when introduced into the exercise. Um, by using accents, I can be a French pilot climbing to flight level 250, or I can be an American pilot descending to altitude 4,000 feet, and with the accents, controllers have to listen just that little bit more carefully to make sure they get the numbers and figures right. And is it just aircraft in emergency situations that we simulate here? No, it's not. We also test the vigilance of controllers sometimes by making deliberate mistakes, mm -hmm. uh, i.e. ignoring some of their radio calls, or by flying the wrong heading, or by reading back or climbing to or descending to the wrong level. That's great. Thanks, John. Okay. We're now in the second half of the simulator. This is the area simulator, which is the high-level stuff that sits above the London stuff we saw earlier. Uh, behind me, uh, these controls are going through their actual annual emergency situations. Um, John in the blue shirt is the uh, examiner. We'll have a quick word of him later. Uh, they are going through several different emergency situations. Every controller gets tested uh, as part of their license requirement. John, you've been the assessor here today, so from your point of view, why do we do emergency training every year? We do it because fortunately real emergencies are so rare that most controllers won't see one from one year to the next, so by practicing in the simulator in the unlikely event that a serious emergency occurs, they can go straight into a well-rehearsed routine and deal with it. Great. Thank you, John. Well, I've shown you around the simulator. I showed you the radars and the geographical layout of the airports in the south of the UK. We had a very interesting chat to John Ward, the simulator pilot, and we looked at the controllers being put through the paces, both in the classroom and in the simulator. This concludes our little tour. I hope it's been of interest and uh, been an insight into how NATS trains its controllers and uh, maintains a very high safety level.